Hello guys, welcome to another video of Carolina EDC. Today looking at a product from the guy, a Fiaki. Uh, you know, if you're not familiar with Fiaki or Fiaki, however you want to pronounce it, it's a Chinese manufacturer company that pretty much is on Amazon. Very, very uh, known company that is making very affordable and my, my people might well say cheap products. But I've been impressed with, with some of the products that they have offered in the past that I have reviewed. When it comes to Red Dot, they have some pretty cool designs and pretty much kind of similar to other products Chinese make. But they are very decent and well priced and affordable for you to use if you're looking for something just to take out to the range or something to plank with. You know, something that you can throw in the, you know, budget build I guess you can say um, it's gonna do the job and work well well but this is one of the optics that I have to offer as well now this is gonna be uh, one of the products that's gonna be offered in the uh, Amazon Prime deals that is coming up in July so take advantage of that link down below if you want to decide to pick one of these but we're gonna try it out and see how well it works and everything let's go ahead and open up see what's gonna come in a box uh, as you can see it comes a little plastic kind of foam protected thing uh, you got your instructional here again v90 red dot sides uh, let's see look at some of the stuff here for the um, optic here that I have a mess uh, it does come with low profile and like I said with the 0.75 riser mount uh, the one that's mounted right now is the riser so uh, CR2032 so it comes with two of them uh, flip up lens cap two allen wrenches cleaning cloth the instructions the mounts the optic and let's see what else does it say here uh, 60 61 aluminum mate black matte black anodized and battery life on high setting is 1200 hours um, so there you go that's pretty much it uh, as far as the instructional but um, not non daylight 7 daylight 7 <laughs> daylight brightness uh, and two night vision compatible and Power magnification, one point one magnification, ready course two MOA with a window of twenty five millimeter. So, pretty nice looking optic in my opinion. But let's put the optic to the side. Of course, you get the battery installed already, extra screws and everything for your mounts and Allen wrenches. Here is the real low rise mount if you decide to keep it on low. Here's some bikini style rubber caps here. Your don't need that and a little cleaning cloth. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff back in here and we're we'll going to take a look at the optic here right quick. Alright, so as you can see, very slick, nice optic, nice, decent, um, and there's the dot already on, already been messing with this, so, um, but very slick, nice, reflected lens in the front, um, you got your battery compartment here for your batteries and of course you got your adjustment here for your windows and elevation and then you got your um, setting up and down for your brightness and you can easily move it up and down let's see if we can bring it down so there we go it's going down and of course it's gonna be kind of hard to see the dot but as i look in through it it's not a bad dot at all slightly of a starburst here inside but i'm sure some of that usually uh, wash this out, but you never know until I take it outside. But very bright dot. Of course, you turn it all the way up, it's gonna blow up pretty bad. But anyways, I like the slick design. The optics not very big, and yeah, definitely gonna be a good option. Uh, the only concern, we're well, not concerned, issue I have, and of course, it's gonna be become preference. As you can see, the mount uh, is not the type that you get where it's going to have two towers and an opening on the bottom so if you need to use your backup sides um, you know you can use it if your optic goes down but this one you won't be able to do so unless you find another mount that's going to be uh, compatible with this um, type of optic here which I'm sure you can find one very cheap and you can swap it out if you do so but if that's not the case uh, that's going to work very well but anyways let's go ahead and mount this on the AKB9 PSA from AKB9 Start it in, go to range, and see how well it holds up on the recoil. And if, as long as it stays side in, I don't think it's going to be a bad um, optic to have for, uh, again, for shooting, blinking, whatever it may be. All right, guys, stay tuned.
All right, guys, now we're at the range. We're going to shoot like a little group here. We're about 10 yards, maybe so, and uh, see if where we at sighted in as far as the red dot goes. So let's go ahead and begin, see where we at. And again, uh, I got in my AKV9 here from Palmetto State Armory. Seen a lot of videos using this thing. I love shooting this thing. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, I think we pretty much dead center. Let's look at the target right quick. All right, guys, need to say we are pretty much dead center. Five rounds right there in the center. I think we can continue shooting and have some fun. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, now we uh, pretty much shot it in. Let's go ahead and have some fun. So still target here. Again, we're not that far. We're about 10, 15 yards if that. And uh, let's have some fun. All right, here we go. And we're out. All right, so far so good. Uh, the red dot is real fine dot, uh, not a big dot, so it's pretty good. Out here in a bright Sunday, uh, I can see it perfectly. I uh, like the size of the uh, tube of the diameter, just enough to uh, use as a CQB. You can still see everything around you. Uh, it doesn't have no tent glass at all, no magnification, no distortion at all. Uh, the dot seems to be doing real well. Easy to adjust again, like I was saying, battery compartment and your buttons on the side, or I mean on the top, sorry, for your brightness. And the cool thing again, it has the shake away feature, so uh, definitely use it for self defense. Now, being robust and everything, that's only be determined uh, how hard you'll run your. Uh, equipment and everything me I'm not real rough with it you know an occasion I do drop my rifle whatever to the side or fall off but that's about it um, but other than that I really like it uh, very nice slick design very light and doesn't really uh, take much to side it in uh, but yeah let's continue shooting All right, guys, so I don't want to bore you any longer. The V90 Fiocchi Red Dot here seems to be doing pretty well. Of course, I only put uh, several, maybe 40, 50 rounds through it, siding it in and everything, and just running it. And I have uh, let other people shoot it before I've done this video just to see, make sure it keeps continuing running. But I said about 50 rounds, about the most I put in here, maybe with this uh, dot in on AKV9. But the dot is very fine, doesn't start burst at all. Being that my vision's not well as it used, used to be, and never been anyways. <laughs> but as far as the red dot goes, it seems to be working very fine. Um, being this is more aggressive type of firearm with a bigger bolt, uh, definitely will handle the shock assortment. It is waterproof, shake away technology, just like pretty much any red dot nowadays. And that's going to consume uh, and save some of your battery and everything. But the slick design and everything seems like a little, um, what you call it, those Trigicon ACOT, like a mini version of it. <laughs> The only thing, like I said at the beginning, is that I'm not going to light the mount because if I decide to run my uh, uh, iron sights or whatever, uh, I'm not able to because it a stroke right down the middle. It's not um, the mount is not uh, hollow like any other mounts, but that can be always changed if you decide to change it. Uh, I'm sure they got different ones out there on Amazon. But if you get this now, I think they'll be on sale on Prime Day on Amazon. July 16 to 17 or something like that, 15 to 17, I can't remember. But they these are running 64 beans right now. So they're gonna be on sale on Prime Day. So make sure if you got Prime, uh, definitely uh, recommend getting one of these. Fiaki's been 
very good so far with everything I have reviewed in the past. So make sure you go back and check it out. Uh, they've been doing pretty good and coming out with new uh, versions of optics, red dots, whatever it may be, uh, and even scope. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think that Fiaki uh, V90 here, the newest, latest red dot from Fiaki. I appreciate those guys for sending this. Hopefully, more to come from there. If you decide to see some more of that stuff, um, you know, comment down below. Let me know your experience. If you have an experience with Fiaki, even if it's good or bad, comment down below. Let me know uh, and what you have uh had in the past and everything but all right guys that's pretty much it as usual make sure to hit the like button subscribe like share turn notification bells on because i post video at least three to four a week or more so i'm always posting uh videos so i really help me out if you subscribe like and share all that good stuff and as well if you're not following me on instagram you miss out on content or products like this kind of give you a sneak peek uh what i'm working at the moment at that time and kind of give you uh, again a sneak peek uh what's coming up on the channel as well check out the link tree in my bio my instagram where you can find all discount codes and other products available as well in the past that i worked with and future now and as usual check out the links down in the description down below and discount code as well and as usual thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye